I'm talking to you in that seat right now that's sick and tired of being sick and tired. Where you're sick and tired of every month having too much month at the end of the money. Where you work full time at a J-O-B just over broke. You want to go out and you want to fire your B-O-S-S, which is double S-O-B spelled backwards. I'm talking to you today. See, I'm asking you real seriously right now to look at the last five years of your life. And if you don't do something different, the next five years are going to look just like that. Now, for many of you, that's a very depressing thought. See, I know where you are. See, you got to quit accepting what life offers. What life will offer you is being broke, being up to here in credit cards. You got to quit making excuses. For you in this room, it's time to win. It's time to do something different. You got to choose to go out and change. See, I believe with everything in me, success comes by choice, not by chance. People that win, it's not luck. They weren't just in the right place at the right time, although it does help to be in the right place at the right time. Okay, and you're here. See, you're spending your time over the next few days taking the courage to make a change, looking to do something different in your lives. See, you've done more than most people will ever do anyway. See, I believe you beat almost all the people by showing up, just by being there. I mean, most people, if you're stuck in the mud of life, okay, if you're stuck in a world where you just, man, if one more credit card bill comes in, you spend each month, you use Visa to pay MasterCard. Then next month, you use MasterCard to pay Visa. And you're living your life stuck in the mud. You don't crawl out of the mud. You gotta explode out of the mud. You got to make a quantum change in what you're doing and where you are. You got to do something different. You got to get around successful people and adopt successful habits. Never accept advice from anyone more screwed up than you are. But most people spend their whole life listening to people who are a wreck. I mean, the person's dead broke, couldn't scrape two quarters together on a bet. And people sit there and listen to them and let them tell them what to accept in life. See, people are designed for success, but they get programmed and conditioned for failure. See, people go out in life. You know, you talk to a group of small children and they can be from the worst side of town, the poorest side of town, and you ask them what they want to do when they grow up, and they want to be astronauts, and they want to be, you know, rich. They don't, they don't want to be, they don't say, I'd like to work on a garbage truck and be dead broke. <laughs> but somewhere along the line, the world starts beating people down, and they start just accepting what life has to offer. See, in life, your attitude will ultimately, you've heard it many times, determine your altitude. See, you have got to decide to be happy. Act the way you want to feel, and soon you'll feel the way you act. You want to be happy and excited? You can't sit around and go, well, of course, they're happy and excited. I mean, look how good they're doing. I mean, me... I mean, I open the door and life just slams me to the ground. I mean, you know, the only thing, if I had any luck, it'd be bad luck. If I won the lottery, they'd declare it illegal and not give me no money. 
I mean, you ain't going to ever change nothing being like that. Smile more. Be happy. Hey, look. The only thing that's guaranteed is you ain't going to get out of this life alive. See, we need to all get up every day and live every day like it's our last. And guess what? One of these days we're going to be right. Last year I did almost 200,000 miles on Delta, which by the way stands for don't expect luggage to arrive, okay? <laughs> I've gotten good. Look, I can, uh, I can, I can, I can do a 10 day trip to Europe with a duffel bag, man. I don't, I never check a bag. People that travel with me, I drive them nuts, man. I go, whatever you do, I ain't waiting on you. I don't wait on bags to come off the plane. I come off the plane, I go, okay? Now, when I, I go through an airport, man, I'm moving. I'm going somewhere. Even if I'm lost, I'm going to get there fast. <laughs> you got to move. You got to be going somewhere. People won't follow you if you sitting over there sucking your thumb talking about how bad it is. The best way to learn to do this business is to do this business. See, you can't sit in a classroom, you can't watch a video. You, now all that stuff is good, but the, uh, to be good, you gotta first be bad. Okay, the only way you gonna learn to recruit is go recruit. You got to go get after it. You got to get in traffic. You got to make something happen. Tremendous activity. You got to have a, you've got to say to yourself every day, I will do today what others don't, so I'll have tomorrow what others won't. What you market is hope and opportunity to a frustrated people. See, great leaders and people that win have tremendous focus. They don't go through life like a ping pong ball in a wind tunnel, just bouncing around from thing to thing and all over the place and whatever. I believe with everything in me, the great leaders are stickers. They stick with what they start out to do. I mean, you know, I believe one of the biggest problems we got in this country, you know, people, a lot of people, you know, change marriages like they change underwear, they change jobs, like they change underwear. I mean, it's just, if it ain't perfect today, I'm gone, I'm here, I'm there, and all that. And they never apply their efforts and allow them to have time to compound. You've got to be focused. You've got to be after it. You gotta, you gotta decide that you're gonna play. See, I love the word decide. It ends with aside. Like you think about other words that end with aside. Homicide, suicide, okay, all those words got something in common. Somebody dies. Okay, I believe the word decide means the death of all other options. In life, you're either a lighthouse or you're a weather vane. A weather vane on top. I got a, on, on our house out in the country, we've got a, a cupola or whatever they call it up on top of it. It's got a weather vane, a big rooster weather vane. And that sucker, when the wind's blowing, it's just spinning all over. It'll just spin here and it'll spin there and all that. And at the end of the day, it just, whatever way the wind blows, if you want to do something great, you've got to be a lighthouse. You got to be on the rock. You got to be focused. You got to be somebody that people, when they look at you, they don't question how you are. And one of the things I tell our people that work in the home office is listen, you know, the worst thing you can have is a leader that everybody's going, well, what kind of mood's he in today? And all that coming. Mean, hey, listen, you got to show up. You got to be consistent. And you got to be focused. And you got to be somebody people can believe in and count on. A year ago, I went down uh, with some friends of mine to the Bahamas and we went down on a trip, went to this beautiful island and the people that um, own this island had started a furniture company 
uh, years ago and had made a fortune in it and sold it and they had always dreamed of sailing and owning an island in the Bahamas and this place was just absolutely unbelievable and they had a lifestyle that was absolutely unbelievable. And they had just opened this place up and somebody had written in, you know how you'll stay in a really nice place and we stay this, and people will write things in the guest book or whatever. All of a sudden I just opened this book and there was my speech and somebody had written, some people some days become a handful of people's every days. See, everyone in the world lives in the land of the someday. Someday I ain't gonna be broke. Someday we're going to take that vacation I've been promising my family forever. Someday I'm going to be able to take care of this. Someday I'm going to be able to take care of that. Someday, 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 until they run out of days. And then one of these days they're laying there in a the hospital and they ain't got no more days. And they look back and they say, where'd all those someday's gone? But see, for a handful of people, their some days become their every day. See, they go out and that what they're gonna do one of these days becomes how they live their life. See, I made a decision a few years ago that, I, you know, look, I like to have fun. I am a fun-loving human being. I like, one thing about John Addison is I promise you, you can, you can ask anybody that works with me on a daily basis, what you see is what you get. I mean, this ain't like I come out and do this crowd and then I go backstage and scream at people and holler and throw things and act like a general jerk or whatever and all that. I mean, I, what you see is what you get. And I decided a few years ago that I'm gonna have fun I'm gonna have a good time. You don't know how long you got. I mean, it can end tomorrow, just like that. Boom, it's over with. What you waiting on? I mean, what are you waiting on in your life? If not now, when? If not today, when? If not here, where? When are you gonna plant your feet and decide that you gonna make it happen in your life? 99% of the things you worry about don't ever happen. 99% of the things you lay awake at night thinking about don't ever come to pass. Most people spend their whole life worried and focused and thinking about crap that don't matter. And it's never get around to being an excited, positive, upbeat winner. I get up every morning and, I, and I'm scared to death. I'm full of all these fears that I wake up and I go, man, look, I mean, all the people I report to at Citigroup above me, I promise you they ain't got an accent like mine, okay? When I go do the meetings in New York, they have to have like a translator there to like translate me. And, and I was raised, I was not raised where I was supposed to wind up as a co-CEO of a company that makes $500 million a year, one of the large divisions of the largest company in the world. Going to, I was not supposed to have that happen in my life. And I wake up with all these fears and all these doubts and all these anxieties every day. I look at myself in the mirror and I go, my God, how did you ever stumble in and get yourself in this position? I mean, are you good enough? Are you smart enough? Do you know enough? Are, are you, and it's all those fears that are the same thing that's holding you in place in life and keeping you from doing something great. Let me tell you what I've learned. Winners have all the same fears all the same doubts. Quite often, the bigger winner you are, the more insecure you are. But what winners do is they turn their fears into fuel. They turn their fears. They turn their fears and their doubts and their anxieties into the things that drive them, into what makes them go succeed in life. See, if you're gonna win, you gotta overcome those fears. You've got to overcome those doubts. You've got to overcome those negative thoughts. See, to win in life, you've got to be totally positive. The world needs excited, positive people and excited, positive environments. See, you've got to make a decision. You got to go back to your room later when it's quiet and you got to look at yourself in the mirror, the one person you can't lie to, and you got to say, I'm sick of it. 
I'm sick of being broke. I'm sick of making excuses. And you gotta decide to win. God bless you, and I'll see you at the top.